Kermit, tomorrow is your birthday. Do you know what that means? I'm doing something for myself. Your girl fell down another YouTube hole. I started watching videos of people hydro dipping their sneakers. And I thought, that's so cool. I was sort of watching them because they're really relaxing, right? It's like water marbling your nails, but for whole pairs of sneakers. And I don't really care about sneakers. I don't know, I just, I'm the kind of person that wears one pair of shoes until they're completely dead and then I get a new pair. <laughs> All of it was just like fun to watch because I like watching it until I saw someone hydro dip a pair of Crocs and your girl was like, now that's right up my alley. These are the Crocs that I usually wear. As you can see, they're very worn. This is probably my third pair of Crocs. I started wearing Crocs in college and I would wear them in the snow and ice and I would slip many times. I don't recommend them for snow and ice. But Obviously. So much traction. <laughs> Obviously, but I like unironically genuinely enjoy Crocs. I think that they're functional and I think that they're fun and I like just jamming my foot in there with socks on or no socks, whatever. I just think that they're a fantastic shoe and people seem to have very heated opinions about them, but I'm not one of those people. I think that they're great shoes. I like to wear them outside when I'm picking up dog poop. The idea is essentially like your water marbling paint and then people are dipping entire sets of sneakers in them and they think that they come out so cool. Although I like my pink Crocs, it's about time I got a new pair and it's summer. My summer aesthetic is very much like leggings, a t-shirt and some rainbow summer Crocs. You feel me? What? What is she doing? She's plotting something. When I went to the art supply store, you had to be 18 in order to buy the spray paint. So I felt really cool. Did they card you? No, bitch. <laughs> I didn't entirely watch the videos. I was sort of just like spacing out and watching them. Because <laughs> they're relaxing. Basically, we fill this up with water. From my experience with water marbling, the warmer the water is, the, the less the paint like sort of gets angry at you about it. You take this and you just dip it in there. I'm not gonna tape any of this off. I've seen videos where people like tape off parts of it. I want the whole thing. Even the little croc logo on Anything. the side? Anything, I don't care. Yeah. If I was a little girl though, and I knew that you could water marble things, I would have water marbled everything. Everything. It's like not a very expensive way just to make your stuff way 10 million times cooler But also look incredibly homemade, which is my aesthetic So let me give you a sneak peek of my color palette that I chose. What was the inspiration behind this palette? Tie-dye oh. and I know that they make tie-dye crocs already, but I don't think that they're that cute Damn. Is that shade? <laughs> I, mean, shade. I got all neon colors and then I also got a white to sort of I don't know give some little of contrast in there. So you can do one at a time? Yeah. And then after the first one, do you respray? Yeah. Or? Oh, okay. So okay. they come out different. And there will be paint and stuff that we gotta fish out. Are you, are you excited? Your, yeah, are you gonna put your groceries down before we start? My groceries are crying. Your groceries are crying. Is my birth. Celebrate me, birth. Birth me. I just feel like this is such a fun thing. And if this works out well, I'll just water marble everything. No. I'll hydro dip everything. Oh, well that actually sounds cooler. Oh, hydro dip a hydro flask. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Oh. And let's do this because I need summertime Crocs to go with my outfit. That's Custom good... hydro dip Crocs. Okay, that's a good word. These are buzzwords. Thank you. Julian just dropped a small Sony camera into our tub of water. You know. He says he wants a POV shot. So if that comes out fun, you welcome. Love Julian. All right, this is not a doggy activity. Wow, welcome. You can check it out, but then I need everyone to leave. Mommy's trying to do art on Crocs. I'm sort of going for like a whatever effect, so I think I'm just gonna spray it in there. See what happens. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. What do you think so far? It's exciting. Thank you, I know. I don't know how much you need in order to like dip the shoe or if we're gonna have to do it like multiple times, you know? Oh my God, I want that on my feet already. Here's some white. See, look at that. That's beautiful, Beach. Am I making mud? It looks great. Thank you. I'm an artist. Am I going to need to tell you when to stop? Yeah. Give it a shot. All right, so it, it definitely made like a thin layer. So I don't know. 
Should we just try it? Because yeah. then we can always just redip it. Yeah. Put more color on it. So they said do it at like a 45 degree angle. Like that. Yeah. And then you just dip it in. Oh God. Go all the way. All the way. Whoa! Wait, no, that's wrong. Look at it. It's stuck to it. Oh. It's like a... Oh, it broke. <laughs> oh, it didn't work at all. Literally didn't work at all. I wonder why. Yeah, that. I think you gotta do it pretty fast. You want me to help? Sure. Okay. Let's try it again. I want to. Damn, bro. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Still did the same thing. Or is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know. Whoa! Oh. Wait. That's tight. It worked, but it's, yeah. But it's like coming off. It still looks so sick. Looks like parts of it are coming off, but it looks, on the parts that stuck, looks so cool. Dude, why don't we let that sit for a second? We'll try this one. I think you have to do it pretty fast. Yeah, let's, that's definitely the move. And then maybe we'll dip that one again. Ready? No! <gasps> oh my god! Uh, wait, that is so sick! That's actually dope. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Look at that! Oh my god, it looks so cool! I follow a lot of stuff on YouTube that I'm like, that looks cool. And then I try it and I'm like, I hate this. This is actually amazing. That looks so cool. Look at it, it made this purple. Like you just have to do it fast, I think. Yeah, you can't let the paint sit there, I don't think. But that looks so much cooler than if I were to sit here and spray paint them. That is so fun. Let's like dip the backs. Okay. Dude, oh no. It like covered the whole front. Oh. oh no. Guys, I blew it. Oh dude, look at the strap though. That is so sick. I guess you're not supposed to double dip. Wow, I'm taking all of it off. <gasps> I'm ruining it, I'm ruining it, I'm ruining it. do it again. Oh god, they're not even functional anymore. Oh god. Oh, I did a cool thing and then I ruined it with my too much jean. Wow, I ruined this one too. This is hard. This is very hard. Wait, what do I do? Just did a bad thing. I regret the thing I did. One more time? Yeah, why not? It's dying the back of it. It's really hard. Well, that's much better. Yeah, that's okay. I just don't know what to do. I guess that's why people like tape this part off because this is going to move and the paint's going to come off anyways. Oh, dude, they look bad. No, they don't. This is all bad. Just dip the whole thing again. All right, let's do it. Maybe let's do more paint. Okay. Should I do like the side? Oh, you got to go quick. It's got like a toxic little tail. Ew. <gasps> Whoa. Yes. Yes, bitch. Fuck it that one worked up. well. Look at the bottom. Oh, I'm here for that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that one was dope. Wait, so are we done? I don't know. You, you need to be told to stop because otherwise you're going to ruin it. Yeah. They look really good. But can I do this side one more time? Yeah, yeah, do that side. I kind of like how it's like coming off and like you can see parts where it was painted. Like, I don't mind that. Yeah, I kinda it's kind of a like look. It. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, V! Oh, wait, this one doesn't look good. We should do it again. That's too bright. It needs to be more blended. One more time. Oh no. It's just all pink. It's not what I wanted. Ew. You're gonna need to stop at some point, otherwise, it's just gonna keep getting weirder. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, 
Okay, that done. is so cool. We're done. That is so cool. We're done. Do you like them? I love them. I didn't ask, I guess, or think, because I'm dumb and I forget stuff. But I know that there's like a clear sealant you can spray over this type of paint to make it stay, so it might end up coming off. But then, God forbid, we have to do this again. Let me just do it again. This is so fun. And it's like, are you kidding? As far, aside from the spray paint, it's like, costs nothing. It's just a bin. It didn't take all day, like other things that I've done. <laughs> it's not like a gigantic mess. We just took it outside, like, I'm super down. And I think that that is so fun and cool. Look at this orange. It's really cool. It's okay. like rainbow sherbet. They feel like you can touch them, but since it's acrylic paint, I know it does need to dry like a little bit, you know? So we are gonna let them dry for as long as we can so that I can give you a look book, you know? I know some of you are probably super irritated by all of this, but like, it really doesn't bother me. I think it looks cool. I think it's honestly part of the look. Right? Like, it looks really cool and fun. Like some of it looks like it's definitely not gonna peel off and then the thicker parts that we were going in over multiple times look like maybe that would be some of the first to come off. I just gotta get the paint out of that one hole. How am I gonna get a suntan if the hole's covered? You're not supposed to get suntans through the croc I holes. want a croc tan. Should I put them on? Yeah, fuck it. I kinda can't wait. Damn. Oh, they're wet. How do they look, B? They look so good. You get some lookbook shots of me just like doing stuff? Yeah. Oh, it's like coming off. Oh, it's all coming off. Did this even work? <laughs> did see. I just do a bad thing? Let's see. Just did a bad thing. I regret the thing I did. <laughs> oh no. Is it not gonna stick to my crock? Since we don't want to walk around in them because that's apparently making the paint come off until I seal it, it's going to be a hand lookbook. Exactly, is this a lookbook? Because we're we're just looking at the shoes that I made, admiring them while also not being able to wear them because the paint is coming off. That's not what a lookbook is. Are you jealous? Yeah. I need you to say over and over again how I'm jealous. I'm so you are. jealous of these Crocs. I'm gonna burn my old Crocs because I just I can't have anything less cool than this. In fact, I'm selling all my shoes, and I'm only gonna wear these. Thank you. When we just like sat down, I just took my eyelashes off like for no reason. Anyways, we got some, I guess this is for wood, metal, plastic, and more. So I think Crocs fits into that category. This is what we could find. It's like a clear top coat that we're gonna try and put on there because the paint's like dry, but you know Crocs are like foamy and they're, they sort of like move around a little. So it seems like the paint would probably crack off. So I'm just gonna try this and see if it works or helps or seals it. I don't know. It's worth a shot, right? I'm bringing the bottom too, girl. I like the bottom. And I'm just gonna set it on the grass. I hope that seals some of it in. If it came off, it's not like the worst thing in the world. They're Crocs. Who cares? So obviously they're not dry. I think after like 24 hours or so they'll be dry. But I think the top coat definitely helped. See how it's still like peeling in some spots? I'm scared if I peel it, it'll like just go off. <laughs> you definitely need a, a top coat. I'm just, I'm wearing them on this rug because I still, like they might be a little wet in the bottom so I don't want to get them on the shelf. I'm it's, making a mess. You're very trackable. Jenna's been here. There's paint on the ground. Oh no. <laughs> they make that sound like cracking paint almost. But I feel like that top coat sort of went through a little bit and re-wet some of the paint so it might dry a little better but see how it's cracking i don't know if this worked what? and i was like half paying attention to the video where that guy did it on crocs but he was using one of those like it's like a sheet of paper that they do it in so i don't really know i don't mind if it comes off i honestly don't even if it makes a mess the rest of my life is a mess i think that they're fun i'm in love 
with the way that this looks. So maybe Crocs weren't the best thing to hydro dip, but they certainly are one of the funnest things to hydro dip. It looks really cool. Right? That's what I'm saying. And if it gets everywhere, who cares? Me? Whoa. No, we got a vacuum cleaner. I'm a little disappointed that this didn't come out as exact as I wanted it to. Like I wanted this to be a completely functional shoe, which they still very much are. They're just, they're shedding everywhere. But mm -hmm. I am so glad that I tried this as a painting process. Like I said, it's my aesthetic. Cooler, but also incredibly homemade. They're just mine, they're for me. But people do it with sneakers. How do they get it to work on sneakers? They're professionals and know what they're doing. Oh no. Yeah. No. I mean, you didn't expect it to like completely hold. Yes, I did. I did expect it to completely hold. Maybe if we covered it in glue first. <gasps> cut, cut. Glue after? You're saying it failed. No, you succeeded. As long as you don't plan on wearing those a lot and or if you're okay with the paint coming all the way off. Oh my God, you've already shed so much. Stop looking at me. I think I should just keep letting them dry. <laughs> Maybe that'll solve all my problems. Yeah, let them try for a couple years. Years? I wanted everyone to be like, those are so cool. Where'd you get them? And now everyone's gonna be like, ma'am, can you leave? You're making a mess. <laughs> Even if they made them though, I would want ones that I made myself, but I wish that there was maybe a better paint that would stick onto the foam or stick into the foam. <gasps> dye, what if we did it with dye? Nail polish? Cut, all of those ideas, cut, cut, cut. No matter what way you cut this up, these are way cooler than the plain pink Crocs that I bought. Am I right? True. You should try to return them now. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think if you're looking to decorate something in a really fun way that Hydro dipping is really super cool. I'm just kind of dumb and fucked it up. <laughs> but it was fun though, didn't you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. Are you wearing my sock right now? You are, aren't you? Yeah, what about it? What are you gonna take my shoes next? You're gonna wear my Crocs? No. <gasps> Julian, that's a drop. Oh! Congrats. Thank you. Wait, what are you congratulating me for? Oh, your new sneakers that she's created. Can They're not sneakers. They're metal basketball cleats, get it right. Bunny, do you wanna see my shoes? They came out really good. She doesn't care. She hates them. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's not funny. I poured my soul into those. Do you not care? All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just do that? I really tried my best. I think that they're great but I wouldn't recommend doing this on Crocs. On something else that's like hard surfaced, for sure. Amazing, 10 out of 10. These are my shoes. If you see me wearing them, make sure you say over and over again how jealous you are of them so I feel a little better about myself. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. Take my sadly painted Crocs somewhere else. Why are you walking so creepy? You better clean that shit up! Fuck you, bitch, I'm an artist.